Was there ever a more elegant player in Tiger Stadium than Hall of Famer Al Kaline? Albert, 22 years on that ball club, most of them in right field. What's your feeling about that place? Because that was your home, it was my home, but mostly it was a place that, where you grew up, where you learned to play baseball, where you learned to excel and achieve the greatest, the World Series. Uh, what does that place mean to you? Well, first of all, it's gonna, I'm going to miss it quite a bit because, as you, you just said, that I've spent every summer there since 1953, and, you know, uh, that's, that's a long, an awful long time. The very first time I saw Briggs Stadium at that time, now Tiger Stadium, of course, uh, it was after a road trip where we got off the train. It was about 2 in the morning. We came from St. Louis, and we were going down Michigan Avenue, and I was sitting next to Johnny Pesky, who was pretty much a mentor to me and was pretty much trying to tell me and show me the ropes. He says, Al, he says, look out the window. Now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. He says, there's, there's going to be your home for the next couple years. And it looked like a big battleship. He says, the old gray battleship. And, and if you really do look at the side of it, it does look like a battleship or an uh, aircraft carrier. And next day, of course, I was staying down at the Tuller Hotel, and I walked to the ballpark and had a hard time getting in the stadium because here I was an 18-year-old kid, and the guards didn't believe that I was a player. And uh, <laughs> finally got in, and I wanted to look at the field. So I got behind home plate and looked out through the screen, and I've never seen such a be more beautiful sight than all the green seats. The, uh, the grass was so green. And I was just totally amazed that uh, I'm going to be standing on that same field where Ty Cobb and Geringer and Greenberg and, I mean, so many great players uh, uh, were able to play. Babe Ruth and all those great, great names that I grew up reading about, idolizing. And, uh, I mean, it, it was just, uh, you couldn't believe the thoughts uh, that went through my head uh, as a kid. What was it like playing right field? It was the sun field, you had the overhang, uh, you had the right field corner. Uh, what was it like out there all those years? Well, you're right, it is the sun field, uh, as most right fields are, uh, and, and it seemed like Tiger Stadium is one of the, the toughest ones as far as sun is concerned. Uh, I think Fenway Park might be a little bit, uh, little bit tougher as far as the sun. But the one thing about playing at Tiger Stadium is the fact that you're, you're pretty close to the hitter. So your first step has to be the most important one because a, a line drive, if you, uh, if you hesitate, the ball can get by you. It, you know, uh, and then all of a sudden, then you have to make a decision about defense. Uh, how far do you go back? And of course, I played before, uh, before they had padded uh, fences and it was concrete and, you know, it, was, it could hurt. <laughs> it could hurt a little bit. Uh, but I think that's the main thing. The sun is very difficult. Uh, the first step, line drive in, in the hole, in the gap. I mean, you have to you have to get a good jump on the ball because it'll be by you in a hurry. Uh, the stands, so of course, the stands aren't as, as bad as they were when I first uh, joined the ball club. Uh, it, in fact, it's the reason why they call it K-Line's Corner now is because they had to take out so many box seats uh, because I was running over there and uh, in foul territory where the bullpen is and uh, falling into the seats all the time because I couldn't see couldn't see where. Uh, uh, where the fence was because they were so low, and um, but right field is is a, is a, a place where you you have to make up your mind in a hurry, uh, particularly in Tiger Stadium, and you have to make make up the, your decision very quickly. Finally, two quick memories. I'll never forget the night in '68 when you won. Worked Don Worth single to right. You scored the winning run, and the place went crazy. Yeah. Number one memory. Go ahead. I remember that because uh, I wasn't playing much that right then because I had been injured. But I told my wife that uh, I was going to do something special uh, that day, and uh, I got on base and uh, was I think I worked a walk and was able to score the uh, the winning run for the Tigers. Donnie Work got the, of course the big hit, and uh, I just had a feeling that I wanted to do something special that that day to uh, to win the uh, help the Tigers win in '68. And my other great memory. Uh, of, uh, of, of Tiger Stadium. It was the all-star game that we had, a great all-star game that we had, American League winning, and the home run that Reggie Jackson hit up in the light towers. I mean, it was a tremendous blow. Uh, the situation in a game where he had two strikes, three balls, and still was able to generate that much power. They hit it up there in the generators.